Chapter 1286, Giant Dragon Mountain Range The Giant Dragon Mountain Range was shrouded in mist, so no one could see its true appearance. The word mysterious had always been its defining characteristic. Many wanted to enter in order to understand its nature, but they had always failed. Legend states that there was a kingdom in these mountains. No one knew whether this was true or not because none had visited it. Standing on top of a hill with an aura unique to this mountain range, Li Kai looked over the undulating mountains. Once inside, one would find the area was completely different from its external appearance. Everyone knew that vast continents were rare in heaven spirit. In fact, the only landmass considered to be a real continent was God Dalt. However, if one could enter the mountain range, they would find that the ground they stood on looked like a great continent comparable to God Dalt. Of course, few were privy to this scene. Even those who were qualified to enter would probably not tell outsiders about their experience. Li Kai smiled. Giant Dragon Kingdom. He found the kingdom a very interesting location. Of course, he didn't plan to visit the Dragon Kingdom this time and had no desire to give those rascals there a beating. He gently shook his head and continued on his way. At this point, he was all by himself since Jian Longwai couldn't follow him. He went quite deep into the mountain range through hills and deserts, after which he was met with a volcano and another ocean. It seemed that this place had formed its own realm as it was full of vast lands. With the absence of humans, a draconic aura permeated every corner of this place. For humans, being exposed to this aura would result in a very strong pressure. After all, dragons were mighty, so weak cultivators couldn't withstand their auras. Li Kai, on the other hand, enjoyed basking in this aura. For him, it was too comfortable. This journey had been a pleasurable trip for him. True dragons, the ultimate transformation of a demon dragon. Cleansing and refining their blood until it becomes the strongest and most precious bloodline in the world. Li Kai emotionally said, the title of divine dragon is indeed apartment. Outsiders didn't know that every inch of this mountain range was quite precious. It was a treasure land that allowed the future generations to prosper. Li Kai murmured, this bloodline is quite exquisite. The old geezer's choice was truly wise. Otherwise, they would definitely become feasts for the emperors and gods above the night heavens. The old geezer's offspring were powerful because they had inherited his bloodline. Of course, they were far inferior to the old man himself. Nevertheless, a thick bloodline of a true dragon coursed through their veins. In the outside world existed very diluted true dragon bloodlines. If the old geezer's descendants were outside, others would consider them as true dragons. For their race, their precious bloodline was both a blessing and a curse. It was needless to mention the advantages. They were destined to be powerful. The disadvantages were clear as well, because their bloodline was so strong, it was difficult for them to reproduce. It could be said that in heaven spirit or even the entire nine worlds, no other race had such a difficult time reproducing as the dragons. Fortunately, their lifespans were relatively long, or else they would have become extinct long ago. Because of this, the geezer needed the Jian clan because only their imperial bloodline was worthy of their race. Moreover, both sides had a relationship thicker than blood. The old geezer trusted the Jian clan. This played a great part in why the Jian clan was the only lineage in heaven spirit that could stay in Rainbow City. In fact, the other four clans of Dongjing Lake had deep ties with the Dragon Mountain as well. However, this was a matter of long ago. The other issue with their bloodline was that, through cultivation, they could reach atavism and cause their blood to become even purer. This, in turn, made them hesitant to compete against the rest of the world. The reason was that once a member of their race becomes an immortal emperor, they would have to face the world inhabited by gods and emperors. Just imagine, their precious bloodline would become a nutritious feast, a high-level liquid for life belongment. They would only become prey in such a place. It was very difficult for their tribe to establish a stronghold under such circumstances. This was why the old man's race chose to be reclusive and stay unknown to outsiders. Li Kai eventually reached his destination after a long trek. This was a barren land with only Lois in sight. Eventually, he stood before an ordinary-looking hill and heard clanking gallops from a horse. He smiled right away and approached the stone wall. There was an entrance to a cavern at its base. It looked normal, but there was a fence seemingly made from white ivory. A skeletal horse was pacing back and forth in front of this entrance as if it was waiting for something. This was the very horse that appeared in the ocean in the past, the mount of immortal Emperor Busi. Who would have thought that it would be here? Of course, it was given permission by the old geezer. Otherwise, even an emperor's mount wouldn't have been able to reach this location. Nay, it roared after seeing Li Kai and aggressively lifted its frontal hooves. This was clearly an antagonistic posture. It couldn't be blamed. Li Kai had transformed into the young emperor in order to trick it. From its perspective, he was an enemy. Li Kai couldn't help but smile. There's no need to be so hostile towards me. Maybe you will ask me for help in just a bit. At that time, it would be too late if you try to suck up to me, right? Nay, despite being mere bones, it still had a great amount of spirituality, so it could understand Li Kai. As a result, it didn't attack him despite its hostile behavior. Li Kai stood before the entrance and took a look before praising, this place is pretty well sealed. Once locked inside, not only can it evade everything, nothing can come out either. There was a great mystery behind this cavern. Just a fence that sealed it was made from heaven-defying dragon bones from the geezer himself. Its power was unimaginable. There was not much in the cave itself outside of a cage inside a pit on the ground that was completely inserted into the earth. The pit itself was filled with an extremely black liquid. There might not be something darker than this liquid in this world. It could absorb all light, including the rays of the sun. There was no escape after being devoured. At a first glance, someone would actually mistake it for a black hole. 
It was not an inanimate object either. Occasionally, it would slightly creep around. A full range of motion was impossible because it was in the pit. At the very least, it seemed to be alive. Li Kai was all smiles after seeing this liquid as he murmured, that old geezer really risked it back then, to actually lock this thing down here. Who else in this world could actually accomplish this? This Stygian liquid was brought back by the old man from the Bone Sea. It had a frightening origin. The old man sealed it here for his own use, but he never got around to using it. It didn't look particularly conspicuous, but if people knew of its usefulness, they would break heads vying for it. Even immortal emperors would bring treasures here to make a deal with him. His eyes then shifted towards a corner of this cave. There was an object there. To be exact, it was two items, a pair of eyes. These eyes seemed to be casually placed in the corner as if they had been abandoned, 